This is a topic that hits very close to home for all of us here at 12 News. Suicide. Almost two years ago, one of our own team members took his own life. Fact is, on average, one person dies by suicide every seven hours in Arizona. And suicide is the eighth leading cause of death in our state. One of our goals here at 12 News is a social responsibility to our viewers to give you resources and find solutions. Team 12's Tram Mai shows us why preventing suicides has become a mission for all of us. I just feel he's honored and I'm, I'm proud that his name's on there. The Mitch Warnock Act was named after Tim's son, a pole vaulter, an adopted son of two teachers, Tim and Lori Warnock. As soon as we saw him, we fell in love with him. But falling grades coupled with a third place pole vaulting finish started a spiral for Mitch, leading to the night of October 17th, 2017. I don't want to get too much more than that. It's too hard for me. But I found him. It was all the worst night of my life you could ever imagine. That night, Mitch became one of the 50 Arizona teens who took their own life in 2017. This year, Governor Ducey signed a bill named in Mitch's memory, requiring that by 2020, educators need to take suicide awareness and prevention training to identify the signs that parents may be too close to their kids to see. So that we, we can help these young people but, but before they, they make that, that decision. And recently, Governor Ducey also took part in our 12 News Social Responsibility Campaign, which we hope will make a difference in our community by giving you resources and solutions to problems affecting our society. Today, President and General Manager of 12 News, Dean Dittmer, presented a Techna grant of $5,000 to the Arizona Director of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, Corey Froylander. We are proud to be able to offer a lot of suicide prevention education in the community. Um, we do a lot of advocacy also, as well as um, provide support for survivors of suicide loss. The goal is to reach out to those who need help before it's too late. Not a single one of them deserve to get to that level of hopelessness and to feel that level of, I don't want to live anymore. Tram I, 12 News. We have more information on resources about suicide prevention. Just go to our website at 12news.com or you can also download our 12 News app.